Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Today we're going back over the Tesla battery day and rather than Sorry. rather than just uh, replay the video because there's plenty of those videos out there we're going to discuss uh, what was going on and what was uh, where my predictions was right and where I was off the mark. Uh, basically, if you just want to see a shortcutted version of what the, uh, and I understand why you would, because it was torture watching the whole thing. If Elon leaves, we are, uh, Tesla shareholders are done for the company. Oh my God, they were selling off before Elon came up. But the fact of the matter is, Paranoid Profit has good one, and so do a number of other YouTubers. So you'll find no shortage of those videos on there. Anyway, let's get into it. We are going to go into the back. This is, this is the battery cell. Uh, this is me doing a recap. This isn't me actually looking at the event. I, I'm sorry I am outside, so there will be some background noise. Uh, I have muted their audio as they muted the audio of their stream at the beginning. I did say, uh, uh, maybe... Milton got into the uh, maybe Milton got into the uh, communications room, but no. Now with the cell, I did say how uh, they would improve the cell technology and they would be redoing the cell technology, but we'll talk about that a bit later. I also said how the Max Cell acquisition would mean they would move away from the current uh, the, the current technology which they would be using the Maxell acquisition and going from wet to dry because I had a lot to go through I didn't and people tend to zone out especially with my voice after a couple of minutes uh, I didn't go into too much detail on this, maybe I should have, but uh, basically they haven't cracked it yet, I thought they had cracked it, so I chuck chalk that down to where I was wrong, I said they would go from wet to dry and have a film in place for the battery, they have apparently, but they're but it's still in pilot phase. They are talking about <coughs> uh, with the battery cell. I said how they will be using silicon to uh, bring through more lithium. And bring uh, through more lithium and bring. Uh, Sorry, uh, bring, as well as more lithium uh, it will uh, reduce the need for cobalt, cobalt and that will be prevalent why because if you saw this and even listen to the beginning one of the board uh, members put forward a request to get rid of cobalt which is considered the blood diamond of batteries. I, if you look at the silicon, they it is the most abundant material in uh, on earth, 
uh, material materials and it is uh, something that we can uh, easily use a lot more abundant than cobalt sorry about this and uh, with uh, uh, mentioned I went into more detail with that before the event so I won't spend too much time but using that is a much more efficient way and getting rid of the uh, uh, using the tabulous design which everyone knew about anyway we touched on because everyone knew about it really a big reveal beforehand so we had the cathode and the anode which I spoke about it's I didn't really I said how they would change it they did and I said how the batteries would be made smaller with more power but I didn't go into detail about it so if you want to call me on that then fine the thing is and don't forget to hit that lovely like button almost as lovely as me Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares. We uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want and i don't charge a discord fee or ask for a patreon all i do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button uh, even if you disagree with me especially if you disagree with me i like a debate and if i do something wrong i want you to call me on it so i can improve the channel and why not check out the links in the description below there's lots of offers I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know you can get a free share worth up to two hundred pounds for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a one pound deposit. The others require a hundred pounds or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over three and a half thousand US stocks on their books which is the biggest one outside of the US whereas trading 212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use but as I said I use all three anyway on with the show and here we're speaking again about the cathode and the lithium and how important it is also about how they're looking to have zero waste, water waste so that recycling will be a lot. I did touch a little bit on the energy side but I didn't really touch a lot so really that was a place I missed. I mentioned to a few other YouTubers beforehand I think they'll discuss it but I didn't really put it in any of my videos so that was something I missed out. Sorry about that. Uh, the thing is, it's uh, I mentioned if you remember in my videos about lithium mines about a month ago how I think uh, Tesla will be using more local mines and more local services and they announced how they would be looking 
uh, local production. For instance, they're saying how there's enough lithium in Texas to service the whole American fleet. And, you know, they're talking about North American cathode production. Uh, they, I did say about how the new batteries that they hinted about uh, his tweets were just a, a way to get rid of the Tesla bears that the now I said like he, he's trying to get rid of the Tesla bears by saying they won't go into mass production until 2022 uh, and that that means they will be producing them in a Fremont facility and uh, the batteries in the Fremont facility he confirmed that and that he also as I said it, it means that he's confirming that he's keeping the contracts at the moment with the battery suppliers but he will be looking to bring in house mm -hmm. by 2022 and he confirmed that I also said how because of what's happened with Nick Lowen uh, with Trevor Milton he will be putting the semi back till 2022 but then it wasn't meant to be released until 2021 22 anyway so it isn't really putting it back it's just anyone who's been in Tesla knows that it isn't really delaying it but people uh, kind of scares off the Tesla bears who haven't done their research and the Tesla balls gives them a chance to pick up the shares cheap and he likes to have a dig at the bears and short sellers that's why he brought out a whole line of underwear and <laughs> the short shorts now nah. when you think they actually got a factory up and running from a mound of dirt in Ch Shanghai within 13 months it is amazing and the fact that it's the only foreign company that's 100% foreign owned in China because China has strict legislations that you either need someone who is Chinese owning it or there has to be someone from China on the board and you have to get someone registered with the Chinese business board. This is something I got wrong. I did say how they would minimize the moving parts, but uh, the giga casting innovation, I didn't know about that, but still that and they kind of skimmed over it but that is massive that will improve their operating margin think of how their operating margin went up when with the previous Teslas the moving parts on the front went from four part parts that they put together to two parts their operating margin went up now they're doing it from two moving parts to one moving pass and I said that the, you know I think they'll be bringing in making a machine to the, prove that and that was a couple of months ago but I didn't think they would be doing it so quickly now they are how can I put it one criticism was the way they were set up before Elon came on as I said there was no audio and then when they had audio or whether that was meant to be or not everyone thought there was a, a problem uh, then when there was audio you had everyone in the cars for social distancing <coughs> or whatever reason and then they said right you can get out of your cars and walk around and there was no social distancing. This is another thing. The chassis. I did touch on the chassis, but it, 
and how it would improve the battery would improve the chassis load but I didn't get I'm being specific now and I'm nitpicking but I don't consider to have got got it right purely because I'm nitpicking and because I have got so much right previously now if you look at their t-shirts their t-shirts matched the previous picture so they gave hints now it is a 56% reduction in cost when you put everything together uh, an improvement environmental wise uh, and an improvement in the uh, PR wise because as I said with less cobalt less exposure to the accusations of child labor and environmental cost you have increasing range uh, you yeah. with a decrease in cost you have increasing profits you can also decrease the cost of the uh, car now they have done numerous tests on at what level you be the battery so that the it's at the sweet spot to have a decrease in it to get it at the right level to uh, so that you don't lose range and you have the right cost basis now they have ended up coming up with a budget model that costs less than combustion engines so bear in mind when I say about what what class of cars they're going after I don't just mean EV cars I mean ICE cars as well and we are now looking at the plaid and this is 0 to two, 60 in under two seconds. Current one is under under is three and a half seconds, and there's a huge difference. Now this is supercar range. Now you've got a five over 500 mile range. Now this is to get these two models because it's always been like a medium range. It's seen as a luxury car, but it's been a medium range car and I think the reason for this push is mainly because you've had companies like Lucid Air coming out you've had the Lucid Air coming out now Lucid Air is a dream at the moment they're trying to bring it into reality I've done a video on why I think the Lucid Air is another Nikola and why I think it's more of a scam People are jumping on it like Nicola and are defending it, thinking it's the, you know, putting it alongside their Tesla. I myself think it's, uh, I myself think it's uh, just a, uh, another uh, scam because if you want to know then check out that video there was so many things I couldn't even fit in one video but with Tesla they have the technology so why not challenge Lucid Air before they get the car out if they, because if you have the option of a $170,000 car that does the same things as Tesla but Tesla's out before you you're going to go for a Tesla if and you also have the Fisker car that isn't that Fisker has a history in failure in EVs but he has experience in EVs so and he's talking about a budget model which is between 20 to 30 thousand dollars now that is after your credits after you, you get the credits back now it, that is if you get the credits back the thing is 
if you whether you believe in Fisker or not he may make it he may not he's finally signing some agreements he but again if you're managing to get the price point back down and you can get a Fisker for uh, Fisker luxury for thirty thousand dollars, or you can get a Fisker, but basic for twenty thousand dollars, or you can get a Tesla, uh, basic for twenty thousand dollars, twenty-five thousand dollars. Knowing that they're the closest ones to full self-driving, where are you going to go for? Yeah, you know, I know what, which one I'd go for. because it's not just about the competition it's not just about Fisker and Lucid Air it's also about the fact that a lot of countries have signed up to be get rid of ICE vehicles and no longer sell ICE vehicles by 2030 it's 10 years away in order to do that you, ha you need something which is in appeals to the masses. There are people going out buying ICE vehicles now. You know, pe people keep their car for 10, 20 years. Why are they buying their ICE vehicles? Because there isn't a cheap alternative. Now, if you had an EV car as cheap as an ICE car, people would be buying it. So, you have the budget version that will appeal to the working class, you have the mid version that will appeal to the mid middle class, and you have the plaid which will appeal to the upper class. The only thing is, I'm wondering if the, the new one coming out, if people, enough people are going to order that purely because uh, they think they're going to wait for the plaid. But you never know. Some of these people have, enough, they have the money to have both. The other thing is, will, will the EV credits go away within the next five, ten years? I don't think they'll go away in the next five years. I think in, within ten years they will. So they have to make uh, provisions. And some of them provisions is they're looking into recycling the lithium batteries. And I think that's a brilliant idea from an environmental point of view and an economical. Anyway, uh, any don't forget to check out my other videos in the description below. You'll be able to see one of the three videos I made prior to the uh, battery day. Uh, don't forget to hit the lovely like button, almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting a video out to more people. Don't forget to hit the sexy subscribe button definitely sexier than me just ask the wife that's why I've shut my camera off so you could look at her beautiful people instead and don't forget to comment in the box below whether you bought Tesla whether you're in it long term or just trading it I don't judge uh, whether you are uh, whether you a surprise whether you got it right whether you uh, whether you are uh, pleased with what they've announced whether you're disappointed because they didn't spend more time on full self-driving but to tell the truth I think no one expected full self-driving to be coming out there you know, they expected it to be 
everyone who's been in it a long time expected full self-driving to be put back because of what's happening with the world ground. Now, there have been improvements. It's almost here according to Elon, Elon but before, once it's here, the Robo Taxi won't be here when full self-driving's here. You've got, you will have full self-driving, then you will have Robo Taxi. Another thing I got wrong, I'll hold my hands up. I expected them to announce that within four years, they will be bringing out a small, narrow, four-seater car for the Chinese market, where they have narrow roads and roads are different. But maybe they think it's not the time, maybe they think it's four years' time, we will leave it for next battery day. But I'll hold my hands up. It's something that I said and they didn't announce it so I class it as me getting it wrong. But I am happy with everything I did get right. It did help. The reason we do all this research before battery day and the reason why I'm happy to get it right, I got it right, is because then we can trade it right. I do not just trade Tesla. I have an amount of it in my long-term account and then I have some of it in my trading account. I do not understand... Listen, I respect Jeremy a whole lot, but I do not understand, and I think he is an incredibly intelligent person, and he helps so many people when it comes to trading. But I do not understand when he says, I don't like the people who trade it. Listen, guy, we can't all afford to hold 750,000 Tesla shares. So, some of us, you know, we can't all afford to have all that money that you have. So, some of us, we've got to work our way up. We buy our Tesla shares, we have our shares in a long term account. Until we can afford to have shares sitting there, we have to trade them. And we don't want to be trading them. We'd like to be sitting there earning off all the shares we've got. But we have to, like, earn enough to live off of. You know. Anyway, that's all from now. Remember, stay safe, stay savvy, stay invested. Goodbye.